Richland Hills Public Library. I'm Miranda, the youth librarian. Uh, and today, of course, uh, we are doing mermaids all week long. Uh, don't forget to pick up your mermaid craft kit at the library. Um, and for this experiment, so finding science experiments that have to do with mermaids isn't exactly the easiest thing. So we're focusing more on the ocean um, and things that live in the ocean. So we have our ocean current experiment, which is either coming next or has already happened, depending on how these videos get uploaded. Um, and then this experiment is about sharks. So for this experiment, you're going to need some sort of bowl. It doesn't have to be clear. I just, that's what I've got. Uh, a funnel of some kind, two balloons, which as you can see, I drew cute little shark faces on. Um, so that's what the marker is for if you want to draw on, on your balloons. Some oil. Um, we're using olive oil. Hopefully that will be the same as other kinds of oil. And then water. Lots of water. So, the really cool thing about sharks, I mean, there are lots of cool things about sharks, let's be honest. Um, but one of the things that I think is really cool about sharks is you have this massive creature. So great white sharks, they can be up to 20 feet long. Um, which is about the depth of a car garage, um, 20 feet long and 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds, like can you imagine how heavy that is? Then on top of that, you have sharks like the whale shark. Those are the biggest sharks in the world and they can get up to 62 feet long. That's about as long as a bowling lane, like the whole length of the bowling lane. So you've got this super huge animal that weighs a super, super large amount of pounds and yet it floats through the water with such amazing ease. Sharks have three things that make this possible. Uh, they have their fins, they have their bones which are technically made out of cartilage which is much much lighter um, and then on top of that and this is the really cool one they have an oily liver. Their liver is so full of oil that it can make up a super large amount of their body weight, like their overall body weight. So we're gonna kind of test that experiment with what we have here. So we have oil and we have water and we're gonna test the difference and see what happens when we fill one of these balloons with oil and the other one with water and then set them down into our bowl of water and see what happens with them. So, I read that the oil is harder, so let's do that one first. Oh wait, no, I should probably do the water one first um, since I'm using the same funnel for both because we don't want to get oil into our water. Okay, so the trick with the water balloon, okay, we don't want them too full, um, but we also don't want a lot of air. Let's see, let's get just a little teeny tiny bit more in there. Okay, and then the rest of the water can go in our bowl. All right, so the less air, oh, made a mess. <laughs> this might also be a good one to do outside. Um, so the less air you have in your balloon when you tie it off, the better. Um, so I'm gonna tie off the balloon. I usually do that by two fingers and then like that and then I just pull it through like that and it's tied off okay oh look my my sharpie is melting right off of there okay so we're gonna lay that one aside now let's do our oil one and hope we don't make the same mess with the oil that we did with the water <laughs> I'll probably wind up using most of the oil. You can kind of, you can kind of feel in there. All right, so I'm gonna try to be more careful about this than I was about the water. Although it feels like I may have gotten it too full. I'm probably going to make a really big mess. Be prepared, y'all. Oh yeah, there it goes, yeah. I may not be able to tie this off. Um, here. <laughs> oh, so don't do what I did and get it too full. <laughs> it's kind of slippery. 
<laughs> it's gonna be really slippery and it's gonna be harder to tie off but I'm gonna manage it <laughs> there we go so now we have our nice and oily um, so we have shark number one that's filled with water and we have shark number two that's filled with oil so now we're gonna put them into our water bowl and see what happens why is my water one floating is it because I've got oil all over it from my hands? All right, so my experiment did not work. We're gonna talk about that a little bit because sometimes your experiments aren't going to work. Um, I don't know exactly what I did wrong with this experiment. What's supposed to happen um, is your balloon that's filled with oil is supposed to stay floating at the top and your balloon that's filled with water is supposed to sink to the bottom. Um, I don't know why mine is not sinking to the bottom. It's possible because my hands were so coated in oil um, and now there's a nice oil coating on the outside of my water, my water balloon. Um, it's also possible because I made such a mess with the oil that now because there's, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a lot of oil in the water, um, which may not have been um, part of the original experiment, which I'm sure it wasn't because again, I made a mess. Um, so this is something that uh, you would want to experiment with. I may have actually gotten them both a little too, well, I know I got the oil one too full. Um, but so your experiments, as you can see, don't always turn out the way that you want them to. Um, and then you have to kind of go back and try to figure out, well, what did I do wrong? And what can I do to change it next time if you want to redo the experiment? Um, in this case, we're not going to redo the experiment. I've kind of explained how it works. Um, or how it's supposed to work. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the, the extra oil is what caused our balloons to not work the, the way they were supposed to. Um, and it's also possible in the experiment that I read um, and, and studied, um, if you have too much air, basically, in your, although it feels pretty solid, um, if you have too much air in your water balloon, balloon, um, that air can cause the balloon to float when it would normally um, sink to the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna guess that my main issue was that I made a mess with the oil. Um, but when you experiment with this at home, that's something that you can test and study. Uh, maybe using hot water instead of cold water would also make a difference in what the balloons do or don't do. Um, again, that's something that you can uh, research and study at home when you do your own experiments. So thank you again for tuning in today. I'm sorry our experiment didn't work out quite the way we planned this time around, but you know, that's science, it's what happens. Um, so I hope you'll tune in next week. Um, I believe our theme is going to be monsters. It's going to be super lots of fun. Uh, thank you for tuning in today and I hope you have a good day.